please check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's going on, little world? A little curious not to know. Say, so Ted, talk about this movie is labeled as a supernatural horror. It is directed by uh, Bruce McGuire. The name of this film is Night Swim that came out in 2024. It is based on a really short film that you can watch on YouTube. It's under five minutes long. And that one's called Night Swim that came out in 2014. So this movie starts like in your horror movie. It has like a little intro. It shows you how evil this pool is and who knows what's happening underneath it or and people disappear. So almost like 20 years after the whole intro thing happened, a penny moves in, you got, you know, typical family, you got the boy and the girl and the mom and pop trying to live their lives. The husband is a retired baseball player, had to retire from baseball because of some kind of health issues. And one reason for them to move in this house because some had to pull and it would be help good for his recovery. How the adults are trying to figure out what their game plan is. It's like when him retire from baseball and just live their lives and she goes to work. And you got the two kids. One is really outgoing, one's real and then one's really shy. And so pretty much a little bit later on in the movie the husband noticed that there's no healing power that's going on with him because he noticed when he scratched his hand in the movie later on it's almost healed. And the kids have a different get it because they know something's off. And they start seeing things and they could not go in the deep end. Also the mom noticed something really strange going on while she was in the pool. But the problem is the kids made a pact not to say anything to the parents about this because they're trying to live a happy life. So this movie is really heavy points by the Amityville Horror movie. It's just somewhat similar to it. Instead of a house, it's a pool and, and, the, and the husband gets with it and make him do things. He doesn't really care about much as a kid. He's too focused trying to get back into baseball. Not aware of what's going on because, you know, the pool has some kind of power over him. While at the same time, you know, the, his family is going crazy and uncomfortable around this pool area. So I just encourage you to watch the, the short film. It's on YouTube. It's under five minutes long. It's much better than the whole movie. It's like 90 something minutes long. That's the only good thing about this movie. It's only like 90 minutes long. I didn't really care for it. it. It seems like it was like a patchwork of different horror movies. You got the kids keeping secrets from the parents because they don't want to appear to be too crazy or not. You got the dad's and says, you know, being, you know, tormented by the kind of evil spirit. And you got the mom going around trying to figure things out herself. Of the, of the former owners of the place. It's just really poorly done. It's just boring. It's just really boring. It's more of a thriller than a horror movie. I mean, there's some good, you know, when the, they actually show the evil ghost thing. That's kind of entertaining right there, but it's just too far between the good and and it was mostly bad, so just don't, it's a waste of time. The best thing, once again, I say is, you know, it's only like 90 minutes long, and there's nothing really good about this movie I can say. It's just, you know, I repeat myself, I apologize, but it's just things like really rushed, done. They had like 10 years when they made this short film and figured out how I can make this, you know, into a real good movie, but I just into it, and it, and it shows. It's a little, it's not the actor's fault because they gave him a really dumb, you know, script for it, so I'll find a better job somewhere else, but this is the, their careers at, in the future. So I have nothing really good to say about this movie once again, so like and subscribe, maybe it'll be better next time. Yeah, thanks, bye.